Pakistan, the Sharia-compliant hellhole you'd love to live in if you were the exact opposite of whatever you are now. Pakistan, where you can kidnap, rape, torture, and forcibly convert a Christian or Hindu girl, and a mob will attack the victim's family unless they all keep their mouths shut. Pakistan, it's just like Afghanistan, but with nuclear weapons. Seems like every time Pakistan is in the news, it has something to do with a mob of morons shouting Allahu Akbar while brutally murdering someone for hurting their feelings over the most obvious false prophet in history. Today is no different. Let's read about a factory manager who was beaten, murdered, and set on fire for blasphemy while the crowd cheered with glee and posed for selfies in front of the burning body. We won't bother going to Islam's most trusted sources, unless someone says something really stupid about this having nothing to do with Islam. Al Jazeera reports. A Sri Lankan factory manager in Pakistan has been beaten to death and set ablaze by a mob, police confirmed, in an incident local media reported was linked to alleged blasphemy. The incident took place in Sialkot, about 200 kilometers southeast of the capital Islamabad, on Friday. Few issues are as galvanizing in Pakistan as blasphemy, and even the slightest suggestion of an insult to Islam can supercharge protests and incite lynchings. Prime Minister Imran Khan said he was overseeing the investigation into the horrific vigilante attack, as he called it a day of shame for Pakistan. A day of shame? More like a century of shame. Imran Khan, of course, is one of the world's leading defenders of the death penalty for blasphemy, so you know, with him overseeing the investigation, Pakistani police are really going to pretend like they're doing something until the media attention dies down and everyone who beat and killed the man will be treated like heroes. Let there be no mistake, all those responsible will be punished with full severity of the law, he tweeted. If there's one thing we can always trust in this world, it's a tweet from a politician. A police official in Sialkot, who spoke on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the case, said investigators believed the attackers had accused the manager of blasphemy for tearing down a poster with Islamic holy verses. Pakistan, where tearing down a poster gets you thrown in a toaster. Several gruesome video clips shared on social media showed a mob beating the prone victim while chanting slogans against blasphemy. Other clips showed his body set ablaze, as well as the overturned wreckage of what was said to be his car. Many in the mob made no attempt to hide their identity, and some took selfies in front of the burning corpse. Punjab government spokesman Hassan Kawar told reporters in Lahore that police have already arrested 50 people. CCTV footage is being carefully looked into as we have been directed to complete the inquiry within 48 hours, he said. The slogans chanted in the social media videos were the same used by supporters of the tariq e Labaik Pakistan, TLP, an anti-blasphemy party. TLP sounds like another abbreviation for toilet paper. Just imagine an entire political party whose platform is executing people for blasphemy. Gotta love Pakistan. The TLP has in the past paralyzed the country with protests, including an anti-France campaign after Paris-based satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo last year republished cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad. You mean cartoons like these? Ha <laughs> ha! How's it feel, TLP? No one expects the Muhammad cartoons. Let these images burn into your eyes the way you burn people for blasphemy. Mob killings over accusations of blasphemy have been frequent in Pakistan, where the crime can carry the death sentence. Tahar Ashrafi, Khan's advisor for interfaith harmony, advisor for interfaith harmony in Pakistan? Sounds Orwellian but it's Pakistan. Talk about worlds colliding. Tahir Ashrafi, Khan's advisor for interfaith harmony, condemned the killers in a recorded video statement shared on social media. It is a barbaric act and against 
Islam's teaching, he said. This guy can't be saying that it's against Islam to kill someone for blasphemy. Pakistan defends the death penalty for blasphemy by showing that Muhammad ordered his followers to kill people for blasphemy. So he must be saying that vigilante justice is against Islam. And here he's just contradicting his own prophet. Sunan Abu Dawud, 4361. It was narrated that Ikrimah said, Ibn Abbas told us that a blind man had a female slave, she was his slave girl, who had borne him a child. So, like Muhammad, this man had sex with his slave girls, who reviled the prophet and disparaged him, and he told her not to do that, but she did not stop, and he rebuked her, but she paid no heed. One night she started to disparage and revile the prophet, so he took a dagger and put it in her stomach, and pressed on it, and killed her. There fell between her legs a child who was smeared with the blood that was there. The next morning mention of that was made to the prophet, and he assembled the people and said, By Allah, I adjure the man who did this to stand up. The blind man stood up, and came through the people, trembling. And he came and sat before the prophet. He said, O messenger of Allah, I am the one who did it. She used to revile you and disparage you, and I told her not to do it, but she did not stop. And I rebuked her, but she paid no heed. I have two sons from her, who are like two pearls, and she was good to me. Last night she started to revile you and disparage you, and I took a dagger and placed it on her stomach, and I pressed on it until I killed her. The prophet said, Bear witness that no retaliation is due for her blood. This man brutally murdered the mother of his children, and there was no retaliation because the woman had made fun of Muhammad. But Imran Khan's advisor for Interfaith Harmony wants to convince us that it's against Islam to brutally murder a man for blasphemy. Looks like there's no death penalty for lying in Pakistan. This is a power of religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah?